hi all so today in this video we'll be covering um, how we can handle basic authentication and digest authentication with the help of playwright so authorization is like the identity the who are you something like that so you have to, you have to identify identif identi uh, you have to identify yourself uh, to the website by giving some credentials so there are two types of authentic uh, not two types of but there are many types of authentication but in this video we'll be covering basic authentication and digest authentication so what is the what is the difference between basic authentication and digest authentication so basic authentication is since username and password in plain text form okay but digest authentication sends a hash of the password using a hashing algorithm so that is the simple difference so basically in case of digest authentication it gets more secured so your uh, password is getting encrypted okay so that's the difference because it is using the hashing hash, hashing algorithm okay now let's see example uh, if you go to this website internetheroku.com herokuapp.com now if you click on this basic authentication link uh, you will get one pop-up and you might have seen in different website as well so here you have to enter like admin and admin right that's given in this website as well, uh, itself so now you are saying that congratulations you have you must have you must have the proper credentials that means you are identified or you have the correct rights to access this um, website so that is why that is uh, you are authenticated okay now um, let's forget about digest authentication for the for a while okay i will be exp i mean it, it, it is actually exactly similar with the basic authentication because the way we have uh, uh, the way we will be handling basic authentication the same process will be applicable for digest authentication as well okay now uh, let me show you how we can handle it with playwright so now here is the uh, this this is the sample uh, this template i have created okay so it's uh, very simple you can uh, take any uh, like anything which you have done earlier so i have taken from this one and i have uh, just removed the remaining part and the reason i am not using uh, pytest here because pytest you have to uh, use like the page fixture right and uh, you can do with this browser fixture as well but for that we have to uh, create something like that a contest dot file and there you can use it right but uh, we do not have to do that for this video so that is why i'm using the simple python file and i'm just creating this simple python script with uh, playwright okay now uh, we are here like browser playwright dot chromium dot launch and we have given headless equals to false that means browser will be launched and uh, slow motion equals to 1000 milliseconds okay so that we can see uh, like what is happening otherwise it would be very fast right now uh, let me next next part what next part we have to create a context so let's create the context so context equals to uh, browser dot new context right now here is something amazing you can see here now if you go to this con new context method now i'm clicking on it just control and click uh, okay after you do the control and click you will get uh, this page okay now here you can see there are different things you can actually pass in that method as a parameter okay so viewport screen uh, no viewport ignore http error something like that oh, very various things are there okay maybe in future videos we will be covering some few of them uh, but not for this video so what we are interested here we are interested here in this one http credentials so let's copy this part or you do not need to copy actually you just have to write http you can see it is already coming so this is the this is the dictionary okay it will take a dictionary now you know in python how do you give a dictionary right so you have to give a curly braces and here you need to give a word username right so username colon and then you have to give the username that is the admin right and next comma and then uh, it should be password and then colon and then admin again so this is how we have to pass these credentials 
uh, into this context so that this context now knows like uh, this context and now knowing like uh, this this has the http credentials okay and uh, you need to pass it through this context so next part is what next part is context dot new page and it will create one page okay so we are we have created the page no oh, sorry okay now next page dot go to and the URL so the URL is this one copy link address paste it simple now we have launched the URL after that we have to click on this button right so not click but it will directly I mean uh, we are already taking this basic authentication link so uh, let's give this credentials okay you are already authenticated so uh, let me do one thing so now see once we go to this URL I mean this basic authentication URL if you do not give this HTTP credentials then in that case it will fail so first let's see that what is happening okay so simply copy this part and uh, let give it like this okay and let's remove this part we are not giving it now and let's comment it simple so here what happened okay so this one now if I launch it let's see what is happening okay and uh, let me do one thing uh, let me complete the test case so what you have to do you have to just get this text okay so let's inspect it so now uh, we know like how to do this locator so uh, we can do like there is ID so I can take it has content and P so it's highlighting this congratulations you must have the proper credentials okay so I'm copy, copying it and uh, we can also uh, get this text using h3 tab that is also fine anything is fine okay so uh, let's get this like uh, text equals to um, page dot locator and add it and also you have to use inner text to extract the text from this locator or from this element right so over over it it, it would be like a formatting issue yeah reformat it simple so next uh, would be printing this value or what we can do we can uh, do a assertion as well so uh, so something like that we can do like uh, let me do something expect okay uh, so expect so let's remove this part okay and uh, this is the result x result okay I'm doing the result this locator is the result okay now this expecting a result and dot to have uh, to have text and we can pass the text so this is the text it is expecting simple okay now let's uncomment it and uh, yeah we are good so basically we are uh, trying to find like whether it's failing or not then we'll be adding this part so uh, let me run it so we can run um, handle basic authentication okay so you can see it's uh, failed because uh, something is some issue is there so let's see like error invalid authentication details so you have not passed the authentication details right that is why it's failing it's clearly saying that now let's pass it and let's comment this part now let's run it let's see what happens now okay now you can see it's not failing it is trying to authenticate and it is authenticated and it passed right so no failure because this expect uh, this part also passed so uh, this is a way to um, I mean validate your expected results okay you can do pytest assertion as well 
but here we are not using pytest right so that is why i'm using uh, playwright is giving us these things so i mean this is inbuilt thing we have not we do not have to use any third party libraries or any package right so uh, if you're not using pytest then you can use it and even if you're using pytest then also you can use it i will try to cover a different separate video for this one expect and to have takes because there are multiple things you can try like you, when you do this expect uh, result dot then you can see there there will be different like to have takes to have title okay so maybe we can uh, cover it later so now now you understood like uh, this how you can handle basic authentication right now let's see uh, the digest one right so digest one would be exactly same see copy link and uh, we can just replace it here okay and the same same thing is that username and password is also similar okay okay fine and uh, here uh, i think uh, the text content is also same so let me cop click it and uh, it's not working what happens not sure what happened so let me run it let's see whether uh, it worked or not so the same file i'm running with a different url now let's check okay it's i think running fine because it's not failing you can see digest auth and uh, the test case also passed because the message is exactly same with the basic authentication so whatever uh, if you are having digest authentication or basic authentication you would not actually understand uh, because uh, uh, when in a live application uh, will, when we will see this pop up so you do not know right uh, whether it's a digest authentication or a basic authentication so you do not have to worry about it because both are same so it's just a way uh, how you can handle it this so there are other authentication techniques as well uh, in this video will not, will not we are not going to cover it or maybe it is not applicable for playwright okay so uh, but playwright can do api testing so in if i if i can do uh, if i can cover api testing but then i can show you that okay so this is uh, that's it for today's video and uh, if you have if you have any questions please uh, do ask and uh, like this video and uh, also please subscribe to the channel thank you for watching